Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sandy Beauty here and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be sharing my Sephora sale recommendations. If you are a Rouge member, the sale starts today, November 5th. If you're a VIB member, it starts on the 9th. And then if you're an insider, it starts on the 11th. The sale runs all the way till November 15th. So I would highly recommend that you guys go and purchase all of your Sephora goodies, restock everything right now because the next sale will be in the spring. So don't miss out on this sale. All of the items that I'm talking about today will be linked down below in my description box. So currently I'm obsessed with this concealer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. I love this concealer so much. I've done a review on it and I was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this concealer. It's honestly like a good mixture of like my two favorite concealers, which is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and the Makeup Forever Velvet Matte Concealer. This concealer is really thick. It's really blurring, blurs out your pores, gives you amazing coverage. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is a staple in everybody's makeup routine, but this concealer is honestly like a great in-between of the two I love it so much it's very creamy it's good for dark circles really good for dark spots as well and I find that the shade range is really like spot on it's not too yellow and it's not too warm either it's a nice neutral very skin like so this will give you like a really natural look and a really natural finish if you guys haven't tried it go out and try it especially right now that you can get it on sale I love it so much yeah. another item I've been loving so much for my makeup routine is this benefits professional matte rescue gel I don't even know when this came out, if this is a new product or what, but I love it. Literally went in to re-up on the professional primer. I've never tried the matte rescue before, so let me give it a try. And I love this primer. Like it's matte, but it's velvety. It makes your skin look so smooth. Like the makeup just glides right onto your skin. It's so smooth. It almost gives it like a really nice velvety finish. It's a water-based gel primer, so it's extremely lightweight. I actually have it on today and it's, it's just making my skin look really nice and smooth and I love it. Since this is part of the professional line, it really does blur out your pores and even out your skin and I just love it. There's, I have like so much good things to say about this. Another item that I've been loving is this Ilia Volumizing Mascara. Now, I'm not really a mascara type of girl. I usually do lashes, but I used this mascara in my 15 minute makeup routine video and since I've used it in that video, I love, love, love this product. I almost wanna say I grab for this more than I grab for my false lashes as of late because it just really does volumize my lashes volumizing and it's not smudgy it doesn't smudge it doesn't flake and it's very flexible so this is actually the brush of the mascara I love it because you can use the tip to really get in there and like push up your lashes and then this part that dips down a little bit really does hug and push your lashes up but I like to use this part for my bottom lashes and to kind of do like some detailing really really like it honestly I I'm not so much of a mascara person but this one is really nice I'm gonna be recommending the Fenty Beauty powder foundation once again because I did this in my last video and guys I've been using it more and more and more and I still love it so I would highly recommend if you guys are gonna get any type of powder or something this season grab the Fenty Beauty powder I actually did a no foundation makeup look today and I did film it yes so it will be out after this video but I use this powder for this look and it does look like I have on foundation right I love this powder because it gives good coverage and it's very lightweight this feels like the MAC mineralized skin finish powder if you guys are familiar with that powder but I love it because it's so lightweight very buildable it's light to full coverage and I use this in the shade 420 which is really nice now it is a little bit darker than my skin I probably would go one shade lighter but I did just come back from Mexico maybe a month ago and I still have have a little bit of a tan like very little so that's why I was able to use this powder today because it's a little bit darker than my skin and it gives a little bit more warmth so that's why I'm able to look very unison right now I really love it because it's buildable it's lightweight it's not drying on my skin either but yeah I would highly recommend this once again if you guys are subscribers of mine you guys know I love this Huda Beauty mini glow obsessions palette this is like the perfect 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 palette guys it's small it comes with four shades I don't know the shade range is so beautiful this one is in the shade rich which I think is the darker of the four I think there's four options but this is the darker one and I love the shades that are in here let me just show it to you guys up close the shades that are in here are so beautiful it has like a nice gold and then a, like a bronzy copper 
These two have a little bit more pink in it. Also, don't mind my nails because I have to go get my nails done. But yeah, so these two have a little bit more pink in it. So it does give you that like warm blushy look when you do use it. Very creamy and when it blends into the skin, it looks very dewy. It's not sparkly and glittery. It's really smooth, really creamy, blends right into the skin. It gives a really nice dewy look. I'm not trying to look sparkly. I just want to look nice and glowy and that's exactly what this palette does. And that's what I use today for my highlighter. It is so nice and so glowy. So. I would recommend this highlighter palette. And it was only $29, so I think that's a really good price for these four beautiful shades. Next, I'm gonna go into a little bit of skin and body care. I am obsessed with this Kapari Coconut Crush Body Scrub. I love this body scrub so much. It smells insane. like smells amazing and you guys can see i'm almost finished so that's how you know i love it i love this so 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 much one thing i love about it is number one the smell the smell smells smell smells the smell is so i can't even describe it it smells like coconut but brown sugar but it just smells so good i don't know how to describe it but the coconut smell is really there with this i just love how it feels on my skin it's not too abrasive like some scrubs they actually use brown sugar in this one maybe that's why it's not so abrasive but i love it so much and there's coconut shell pieces in here it just melts onto the skin and it really exfoliates your body and it's hydrating it's not like one of the scrubs where when you use it and you come out you still feel a little bit like dry this one is really really hydrating i use it about two to three times a week and and I'm obsessed. I'm not somebody who used to use body scrubs very often like that, but this, this really just broaden my horizon okay the benefits of using body scrubs is to have an even complexion it will leave your skin nice and glowy and refreshed I did have a little bit of scarring on some parts of my body and this really got rid of that so I would recommend this body scrub I love it so much next up is another Kapari product is this coconut body milk when I first got this I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do this is actually a new bottle so my first bottle is finished this is a second bottle that I have and I just started it. But guys, I love this so much. Now, I'm more of a body butter type of girl. I like when I'm using something more dense on my body because my skin is a, my my body itself is more dry. Not my face, but my body is a little bit more dry. So I like body butters more than like regular lotion or body milks. These are a little bit too thin for me. But number one, it smells amazing. It's like a nice sweet coconut smell, but it's not overpowering. I like having a little bit of a scent when I'm going to my bed and this literally does me justice i love how it feels on my skin number one it has shea butter jojoba oil and coconut oil in it i was not expecting this to be as hydrating as it is so it's really lightweight it glides across your body i literally feel like silk when i use this and it smells so good but i do use this majority of the time at night because it really does have like a nice faint coconut smell and it's not too overpowering and it's perfect i do use it during the day as well and that's pretty much why i had to buy another one because i was starting to use it day and night that's how i know I was in love with this product so I would highly recommend going out and trying this especially if you like to be hydrated with a lightweight body lotion this is so perfect for that another body lotion that I've been loving is this skin fix AHA renewing body cream you guys can see that I've been using this like so much love it love it love it especially when I was having a lot of skin problems going from like spring into summer I find every year around that time my skin goes crazy like literally I'll have like rashes or like dry patches all over like my chest and, and my stomach and stuff like that and I've really really been struggling well I used to struggle I was really struggling with finding things that will help soothe my skin help to repair those areas but not create any more flare-ups and I heard about this in Kyra's video and also Natasha Smith's video and I said you know what let me give it a try because both of them said that they really like it for like troubled areas and dry skin so I said you know what, let me give it a try it was a pretty penny for this jar it this jar is 10 ounces by the way which I think is a decent sized jar. It was 45 Canadian dollars. So I don't know, I've never bought a body cream for that price before, but I said, you know what, let me try it out. It says that it's clinically proven to smooth out dry, rough, and bumpy skin. And even if you have keratosis, pilariasis, guys, my skin was in love with this. Like anytime I have even a little flare up, I reach for this and my skin clears up like within the same day, overnight, or within two days. So I love, 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 love this. And once my skin did clear up, I didn't really have to use this anymore. 
But now that winter's coming, I'm definitely gonna go back to using this because my skin literally does not like changing seasons, okay? It's an exfoliating body cream, so it does have glycolic acid in it, which is amazing. My skin does love glycolic acid. It doesn't have like a strong fragrance. It almost smells medicated in a way, but I had no problem with that. I just wanted to know that it worked on my skin and it really does. So because it is on the more expensive side, this is the perfect time to try out this, this body cream. Speaking of textured skin, I've been using this Inky List Niacinamide Serum on my face. Now guys, I think I did tell you guys about the hyaluronic acid from them the last time, but I switched over to the niacinamide and love it, love it, love it. My skin really loves hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, but I think it loves niacinamide even more. With niacinamide, it helps to control excess oil on your skin and it also helps with hyperpigmentation. That was like the number one thing I noticed about this. It helped to even out the texture on my skin. I would recommend trying this out. It's only $7 anyway, $7 Canadian at that, so it'll be cheaper USD. It's worth a try try it out see if you like it and yeah i promise you'll be in love with it i'm only going to talk about one fragrance in this video because i don't know i haven't been buying any fragrance to be honest other than the ones that i told you guys about in my last video i'm actually going to recommend this soul de janeiro this is the soul chiro chirozo chiroza I'm butchering it, but I actually picked this up because I heard a lot about it in a few perfume recommendation videos over the summer. I heard that it was a good dupe for the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc perfume, so I did pick it up, and I picked it up because I was also going to Mexico, and I wanted to have something to spray on me that smelled kind of like beachy. I wasn't in love with it when I got it, but honestly, over time, I fell in love with it, hence why it's finished, actually. It just has such a beautiful, like, warm, kind of like sweet smell. It's like a coconutty caramel vanilla scent. It does stay on for a long time. I'm not really a fan of like warm, super sweet fragrances. I'm more of a musky or a fresh kind of scent girl. And this one was like kicking, okay? It was like, you spray it and you're like, whoa. But how it melted down on my skin and warmed up, it smelled absolutely amazing, okay? So it's such a beautiful fragrance. So yeah, guys, those are my Sephora sale recommendations. Like I said, I have all the links down below in the description box. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.